Hello everybody, this is Global Warming Skeptic, and for a brief, I guess you'd call it the short version of some secular bullshit. Now, this, this has to be the clearest dumb thing that Kyle's ever said. Let's listen. Donald Trump was doing a rally in Valley Forge, Pennsylvania on Tuesday, and he focused quite a bit on the issue of health care. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, I think that was the main thing in that speech going into it. He said, well, this is going to be the one on health well, care system. Ahead, he said the following, quote, destroy American health care forever. Forever. <laughs> okay, so, um, now what's his plan to replace it? Nothing. <laughs> oh, really? What's this? This is from Donald Trump's website. You can read his health care plan right here. As you can see, it has a very detailed list of both what is wrong with Obamacare and what he specifically wants to do. Here's the short list of things he wants to do. But there's also a longer version right here, a point-by-point -point analysis. Number one. Repeal Obamacare. Number two, modify existing law that inhibits sale of health insurance across state line. I'm sure most of you knew that part, but look at the rest of this. Number three, allow individuals to fully deduct health insurance premium payments from their tax returns. Number four, allow individuals to use health savings accounts. Contributions into HSAs will be tax-free and should be allowed to accumulate. So, in other words, you actually, when you give payroll taxes to Medicare, it just doesn't go in this black hole where you just don't know what's done with it. It has a name, it has your name on it, and the money accumulates until you get on Medicare. Or whatever health thing that there will be in the future. Number five, require tr price transparency from all health care providers, especially doctors. That's number six. Oh, and number five. Number six, block grant, block grant Medicaid to states. Nearly every state al already offers benefits. So let me just explain what that one means because this has been explained by other people. Basically, what would happen is instead of the federal government being specific on the Medicaid requirements and other such things, you're basically just giving them money for the specific use of health care in general. And then these states can come up with their own plans. Now, how that be overseen, I don't know. Maybe it'll be here, but I'm not going to read all these things. But the point I'm making is that it gives a lot more flexibility to each state to tailor health care plans to their own citizens because every state has a different set of requirements. Health risks in New York will be different than Massachusetts, will be different from Wyoming, will be different from California. The risks, the costs, etc. Number seven, remove barriers to entry in the free markets for job pro providers that offer safe, reliable, cheaper products. So, in other words, that means more drug companies can enter the marketplace. You don't have, like now, where you have so much red tape that nobody can get into the market in the first place to compete. And competition is the key. And you can read further into these points if you want. You can read the general assessment here. Um, but it's pretty substantive, and he has a lot of statements over the years. But let me, let me tell you what is not true. <laughs> um, now, what's his plan to replace it? Nothing. <laughs> this is the... Now, what's his plan to replace it? Nothing. <laughs> so, um... Now, what's his plan to replace it? Nothing. <laughs> this yeah, is a classic Kyle, right. Whatever. Keep up your partisan bullshit. Thanks for listening. God bless.